Welcome to another edition of Our City. I hope everyone enjoyed the holiday weekend and July 4th in celebrating the independence of our country. On Thursday, July 7th at 11 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to attend the Hamilton Papers exhibit at the Elizabeth Public Library located at 11 South Broad Street. This showcase, hosted by the Alexander Hamilton Awareness Society, will feature duplicates of original stock certificates and redemption bonds, which are dated from 1791 to 1794. It's open to the public from June 20th to July 16th. And if you want more information, please call 908-354-6060. Because of the hit show on Broadway, Hamilton, it's important to note that Alexander Hamilton spent a lot of time in the city of Elizabeth going to school that was once the College of New Jersey on Broad Street, which eventually became Princeton University in the 1700s. Following that event at 1130, I'll attend the Union County College graduation ceremony, which will be held behind the Kellogg Building located at 40 West Jersey Street. And another Alexander Hamilton Society event on Friday, July 8th at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, a Celebrate Hamilton program hosted by the Alexander Hamilton Awareness Society. This event will celebrate Alexander Hamilton's life and legacy. There'll be a special guest appearance by the actor John Rua uh, from the hit Broadway musical Hamilton and a book signing by historian Michael Newton, who is the author of Alexander Hamilton, The Formative Years. This event will be held at the Snyder Academy right where Alexander Hamilton went to school, located at 42 Broad Street. For more information, call 908-353-2131. If you need more information concerning these events or any other events in the city of Elizabeth, please call our public information office at 908-820-4124. And please stay with us after these messages. some of the finest teachers in the country. And then they graduate. Kane University. Welcome back to our city. I'm pleased to be joined by Mr. Russell Russell Triolo, who is the CEO of the Boys and Girls Club of Union County. Russell, welcome to the show. Thanks for having us. And Miss Tina Early, who is the manager of government and community affairs at Elizabethtown Gas. Tina, good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome. Thank you. And uh, Miss Susan Buck, who's the program manager of energy efficiency programs at Elizabethtown Gas. Susan, welcome to the show. Thank you. So first, tell us a little about yourself. Russell, we'll start with you. You've been on the show before. Sure. Boys and Girls Club. What's going on? Tell us about how long you've been there. Well, myself, I've been there 36 years. 36. Yeah, a long time. It's been uh, a wonderful ride. I've enjoyed it, and I still enjoy it. I love going there every day. just makes me feel good to know we do great things for kids. And you work out some stuff with those kids, right? They do well. Oh, they do real well. We're, uh, you know, we're located in five communities in Union County. We're in Elizabeth, of course, uh, Union, Roselle, Hillside, and Plainfield. We yeah. serve about 800 kids a day. Russell, I still remember the day in 1993 when you came to my office and said we want to expand, and I said, how can we help? You sure did, and you and you really, you made it happen for us. We've been in Elizabeth since 1992, and we just are so grateful for that opportunity to serve these children. So, Tina, you're at the Elizabethtown Gas Company. You're a a little newbie. How long? A year or two? Just a year. Tell us your background. Uh, I uh, have been in politics for my career, and I just came from Yeah, why would you want to do that? No. (laughs) (laughs) You understand it. Once you get the bug, you can't get out of it. So, but I came to Elizabethtown Gas. You worked in the state legislature, you told me? I did, yes, in the Senate Democratic office before this uh, as a policy staffer. And uh, this is a little more normal, though, right? It's a little bit, yeah. Uh, it's a, an easier pace. <laughs> okay. Susan, tell us about your work with the uh, energy efficiency programs at Elizabethtown Gas. How long are you there? I'm also a newbie. I've been there about a year now. Okay. Um, I come from a long line of uh, program management type positions, uh, mostly with the major airline. Um, but I also did energy efficiency work uh, with a utility in Illinois. Um, for a short period of time as well. And now I am the program manager. I basically run the programs that we offer at Elizabethtown Gas uh, for our territories. So Russell, the partnership between the Boys and Girls Club, you gave me a little background. How did this start? Tell us uh, how this got going. Well, we've had a relationship with um, 
Elizabethtown Gas for quite a while now. They've supported us uh, with resources financially, volunteers. It goes back about 10 years. And it's been a wonderful relationship. They're a wonderful company that really believes in, in working with the nonprofit organizations, especially benefiting children. And this project that we're going to talk about, one of the projects we're going to talk about, energy efficiency, did it come from the Boys and Girls Club or did Elizabethtown Gas? How did this get going? Well, it actually came from Elizabethtown Gas. I think uh, uh, we can go over that. Turn this right? to Susan. Susan, I think it's, yeah, I did, think you, it's did you start this program and call the Boys and Girls Club? Is that how this worked? Yes, actually, um, we, I wanted to have a coloring book that we could display at our tables that we have at, at community events. And I uh, started looking for an off-the-shelf product and then had the idea maybe we should involve children in the community and ask them if they can help us by drawing some of the pictures. And went to Tina and Tina had the idea to contact the Boys and Girls Clubs of Union County and see if we can get help and the rest is is history. We made an amazing coloring book with the help of the Boys and Girls Club. So Tina, the phone call to the Boys and Girls Club, I guess that went mm -hmm. well. It did go well and it. I feel like it was just fate somehow because I had just come off of going to the Boys and Girls Clubs uh, Union Club for a tour to understand what they what they do, what services they provide, meet some of the kids. And so when Susan approached me for that, I thought, well, I just went there. I think they'll be perfect for it. So so Susan, what are the ages of the artists in this book? I, the ages of the artists are five through 18. And uh, they were picked. There was a competition of who got picked in, to make the book. All of the children at the Elizabeth Club were asked to draw pictures if they wanted to participate they submitted their pictures and then from what they submitted we selected the pictures to be converted into a coloring book page. Okay. So Susan, energy efficiency is important to every community. Tell us why is it important from the gas company's perspective because really you want us to use more energy, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. Um, <laughs> actually it's really important for us to to help people to be aware of how much energy they're consuming every day in their homes. And it's important for us to also teach people how to consume less energy um, and actually keep their, their bills in check um, for the, you know, the duration of the, of the year. So um, energy efficiency programs are very important to uh, utilities in helping people to, to learn just exactly how to consume the right amount of, electric, of uh, energy within their houses. So Tina, on the energy efficiency that Susan <coughs> just spoke about and the creation of the coloring book, uh, was it your responsibility to tie all this together? and? Uh, make it something that both the guest company and the Boys and Girls Club could be proud of, the end result? Well, it wasn't exactly my responsibility. I actually consider it to be a little bit more of a privilege to be able to be involved in it. After I connected Susan with the Boys and Girls Club, I thought that I was going to end up stepping away from it, but she enabled me to Sucked you remain. In, right? Yeah, and I, I got <laughs> hooked. Coming in. I got hooked. The minute that I got to go to the, to the Elizabeth Club and talk to the kids, I, I was in it from there on so and I got to uh, play a large role in in the celebration that we held for the kids. So Susan since Tina's talking about the kids and you just talked about energy efficiency uh, and how important it is to the community and the gas company how do you how do you get that message off to you got five to 18 year old kids some of the 18 year olds might get it but the, the little kids how do they grasp energy efficiency? So the coloring book and the idea of the coloring book is to help community children understand that. When we went to the Elizabeth Club, we basically introduced the concept of energy efficiency to them and talked about what that meant, gave them examples about how they use energy within their homes. And then um, what we did was we talked about what we were looking to create and then gave them very specific directions on how to create those drawings. So for example, we asked them, um, draw a faucet with water leaking out yeah, of it. Yeah, they did. This one. I oh. <laughs> happened to open up to that one right there. <laughs> right. So we, we gave them directions like that. We asked them to draw a single clothes dryer with clothes falling out of the door, knowing that the result of those pictures would also tie into a tip that we can put underneath the picture and help that to educate them. So by drawing the pictures, they actually learned what those tips were. And our hope is that they, they remember that through life and they use those tips as they grow into adults and they actually help their families to understand what energy efficiency is as well. So I'm going to get back to you, but Ru Russell, how are the Boys and Girls Club using this book? Well, as far as the Boys and Girls Club, we're just proud of the kids. I mean, the children 
for their opportunity to do this was amazing. And when, and when Elizabeth Town Gas came over and, and spoke to the children, you see, it was great for them. They don't always get exposed to these opportunities. And to be asked to do something so important was just an amazing thing for the kids. They were, they, their eyes lit up. And I mean, when they did the reception, uh, I mean, that was just the end. Though. I mean, it was unbelievable. Of oh, course. Was that? And you were there, of course. <laughs> um, the opportunity was great for the children. And, and to be treated so special meant so much to these children. Because we serve about 75 children a day in Elizabeth, of course, at the Frederick Slavin Center. And th they just took this and they ran with it. And they, and they really did get to understand the uh, whole concept of energy efficiency by the end of the project. They really did. So they're going to use it that way. How is Elizabeth Town Gas going to use this coloring book? Well, our plan is to have the coloring book available at every community event that we're at. So mm. um, w w whether it's an expo or street fair or, or wherever we are, we will have the coloring books with us if children are present, and we'll be distributing them to the children for free. And then hopefully the lesson will go along with what, the, what they got there. Exactly. Um, the, any direction to the children? You said that you told them draw a faucet linking, but you know some of these, some of these pictures are not so much exactly what you said but what else did like here's one with a stove and a refrigerator what yeah what did you try to teach him in that um, we asked them to draw a stove and to put a lot of stuff on the stove cooking at the same time um, we asked them to draw stoves that have flames that are a little bit too high um, we even described what that would look like so imagine a pan on the stove with flames coming around the sides of the pans um, that was a direction that we would have given them we also did things like Remember that there's going to be a child that's going to be drawing your picture afterwards, so make sure that the lines are big enough and wide enough so that a crayon can fit between the lines and you'll, another child will be able oh. to, to draw those pictures. Use the whole page. I mean, we gave very specific directions. Um, what helped a lot was the, you know, when we asked the Boys and Girls Club to help us, what we didn't envision in this help was that they were going to ask an art teacher to actually help the children learn how to draw these pictures. So an art teacher was actually there, helped them practice for a couple of weeks first, and then they said, okay, now let's go. And they started making the pictures and, and then they brought them to us. So uh, all three is, and you work with kids on this program, but Tina, we'll start with you since you've got to deal with the media. What do you think the adults can learn from this? Well, I think the adults can learn a lot. I think Part of the energy efficiency message is that there are some no cost to very low cost things that you can do to help with your efficiency in your home. Um, and I think that that actually is conveyed through this coloring book. And it's not just owning high efficiency appliances, which of course is a benefit, but there are things that you can do even if you don't have those opportunities, even if you might not necessarily own the property that you are in. So um, I think that's actually the importance of it. And if we can get that into the hands of a, a child, they might actually be able to pass those tips off to their parents when they bring that book home. So Russell, the, the parents, I guess they're thrilled that some of their kids made the book. Well, absolutely. So, yeah, so what was the feedback from some of the parents that during, during this process? Well, I think, I think the parents were just grateful that the children had the opportunity to express themselves this way. And, and for the children, I, 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 once again, I, I really believe they learned something about energy efficiency. But what they learned more than anything else is that somebody cared about them. You know, just like you've always cared about our kids. And Elizabeth Town Gas cares about kids. And they're a wonderful company. And I, I can't say enough about this project. I mean, it was, there was so much more than a coloring book and energy efficiency. There was a magic that went on with these children and the relationship between the children and the gas company and the city. So let me ask you this, do you envision other projects like this? Maybe not a coloring book, but something? Uh, well, I th well, I think we try to expose our children to as much as we can. Of course, in the community, you have Groundworks Elizabeth, right? Mm -hmm. And our children participate with that. They help them with the growing of plants and things like that. So we try to expose them to as many things as we can. A lot, of, a lot which we believe in is also uh, having them exposed to career opportunities as they grow older. And, and keeping them in our organization with programs like this is the most important thing we can do. Because some of the kids come back and help too, right? Well, they absolutely do. They, become, okay. they come back and they become volunteers. They become our counselors. And they, they're our alumni. Right. And some even, um, like I said, they become staff members and ambassadors in the community. 
So did you go through a Boys and Girls Club? Well, I sure did. I, you I, did. I, I, I had I to ask to, you this question. How long ago? Yeah. No, no. I had, to, <laughs> I had to ask you if you ever did. Yes. Well, you, I, you were. Okay. I was a member of a Boys and Girls Club from six years old. You were? In Clifton, New Jersey. Clifton, New Jersey. And I've never left. Good for you. That's yeah. encouraging. I don't plan on leaving either. I'm, no. I'm having too good of a time. That's right. <laughs> so, Susan, how many drawings you actually received? So we received 27 completed drawings from the children. And um, we had actually, although we did only convert some of the pictures into coloring book pages, we took all 27 pictures and turned them into thumbnails on the back cover of the coloring book. So all entries actually made it into the coloring book. And you picked 15, though. Right. For the how, did you, how, how did that process work? We had a team that sat together and we had a scoring system that we used for each of the pictures. We had certain criteria that needed to be met, like it could convert to a coloring book easily. That was the major um, criteria that we put on there. And then did it meet the point that we were trying to make? And so we did that, and it was very difficult to select just you know a small number of pictures from the 27. But in the end, we believe we picked what really turned into a great coloring book. We're going to run some commercials, and Tina, I'm going to come back with you and talk about how you announced the winners in the 15 and go from there. All right. So please stay with us after these messages. We're back with more about the Elizabethtown Gas Company and the Boys and Girls Club of Union County and the exciting partnership on energy efficiency. We're an American original, dependable, historic, nuanced, with all the comforts of home, even when you're just visiting. So we're celebrating for all that we've left untouched and all that we've changed, a place where the past meets the future. So consider this your invitation. We've been celebrating here in Elizabeth for 350 years, and we're just getting started. Welcome back to our city where we're talking about a coloring book and a partnership between the Boys and Girls Club of Union County and Elizabethtown Gas Company. And Tina, before the break, we started talking about uh, the number of pictures that were submitted, which was 27 and 15 were picked. And, and I'm told that you were the one, or it was the event that you helped coordinate to reveal the final product for the children. Uh, tell us how that came together and how excited were they? Well. Susan and I were talking about what is the best way to celebrate the kids for and thanking them for participating in this project with us. And of course, that was the main thing. It was all about thanking them for their work and their help with this project. So we decided the best way to do that was to bus them over to the Elizabethtown Gas Headquarters so that they get to see the company that they helped. and we had the opportunity then to go all out and celebrate them as best we could. And so at Elizabethtown Gas, we have a group of volunteers that meets regularly and we enlisted their help to make this celebration the best we can be. So we have an auditorium there that we completely decorated. We had slide presentations showing all of their, um, all of the, the drawings that were submitted. Uh, we provided pizza and cake and presented each of the students uh, that participated with uh, a certificate of appreciation, uh, a copy of the coloring book so they got to see it, and a pack of crayons so that they can color themselves. So they, so at that, I, I was there for the beginning, so towards the middle of the end, they actually colored for themselves? They could, yes. And oh. We, t we gave them bags uh, to go full of all of that stuff so they can take all of that with them. How many books did you print, by the way? Susan? Um, about 500. 500, did mm -hmm. you really? Mm -hmm. This yeah. is pretty good. So, so Susan, th the cover of this book naturally is, uh, had to be selected, right, through mm -hmm. your process, and a special award and recognition uh, to a challenge to select only one drawing for the cover. How did that go on the, on the selection of the cover? It was difficult. Um, what we were looking for was a picture that actually told a story and you would understand without having any words below it at all. And there were several that actually met the criteria for the cover. And so we uh, basically looked at the drawings and said, what tells the best story? And Jerome's picture actually told the best story. And you can tell looking at that that there's a small hole in the attic, that there's cold air getting in, there's 
heat escaping through the attic and you know basically what do you do you have to close up that hole and put some insulation in your attic so that you can keep the heat within your home we well, you have to really look for that small hole until yeah. you said that i wasn't i was like why are there two different colors on the roof and now it's a small hole and it's the heat escaping right that's yeah. right yeah that's pretty interesting so was jerome excited he was extremely excited when he was called up to because they, they yeah. didn't know which which picture was on the cover until the event and we uh, put it up on the screen and, and he was walking in the room uh, at the time that that cover went on the screen and you could hear him just mm -hmm. he was thrilled he was um, so proud he yeah. was just was so he? proud yeah. oh how old is jerome 12 or 12. 12 yeah he was 12 yeah Oh, good. So, so the reception was a great event for everyone. I enjoyed it. Oh, yeah. And the effort to make the event was fun and engaging. Uh, some of your thoughts as you planned the reception and mm -hmm. some of the kids' thoughts as they arrived. Well, our thought was, again, making it all about them. And not only did we throw them a pizza party and, and have cake and all of that, but we also framed all of their original drawings and we hung them throughout the, um, the building and put their name, age, and the energy efficiency tip along with it. It looked very much like an art show, and right now it's decorating our offices. Oh, it's so, still up. Oh, they're mm -hmm. still up, and uh, yeah. now our employees get to see the work that they got to do. Oh, good. So did it match your original vision, or did it exceed what you were hoping? I actually think comes? it exceeded our original vision, and their reaction from being there was fantastic just showing up they started asking questions about the company and it gave us an opportunity to talk about what we do and i hope my goal has always been that this becomes a fantastic memory for them going forward and as they get older they're always going to remember this positive interaction with elizabeth town guests so russell let me ask i mean the kids were excited when they were there you were there your staff was there some of your board members yes, were there absolutely. but now you go back and you got to work with these kids every day and how do you replace that on Tuesday or whatever night it was. So what's their reaction? Like, hey, hey, boss, can we do something like this? How do, how do they react? Well, I, I think one of the things that we do work with them in the Boys and Girls Clubs is to teach them to have an opportunity and look for opportunities to be community-minded and to get involved with, with different organizations and, and corporations. They, the kids are always willing to volunteer and to be part of something special. And, and I just can't thank uh, Tina and Susan enough I mean, they're, they're very humble, but they did an outstanding job. They put weeks and weeks into this. And I just think for everyone, it was a labor of love. I really do. I mean, the children, the, the children that we serve in Elizabeth, this might have been one of the first things where someone really treated them special and made them have the self-confidence to know that they could be great. That was probably a key word, the self-confidence. Yeah, that's what, that's, they, that was a key yeah. because they, they know that someone cared about them and really gave them an opportunity to shine. Mm -hmm. And that's what they'll take with them the next day. Sure. Tina, the, the gas company has been a partner with the Boys and Girls Club of Union County for many years. Uh, special opportunity to work with the Elizabeth Club. Uh, tell us about that. Well, you'd, I don't think we would have been able to really understand the importance of our role in the community if we had just bought an off-the-shelf energy efficiency coloring mm. book like so Which many others done, right? could do. Yeah. Yes, we could have done. But this way we got to show people in our own community that we're here, we care, and we will continue to partner with organizations like the Boys and Girls Club moving forward. And because we understand that as a large employer in the area, we have a role to be good corporate citizens. And so I think that it was very special. And I cannot thank the Boys and Girls Club enough for their hard work and the amount of time and effort they put into this. So did all the kids get a copy? Yes, they did. And how can, can anybody else get a copy? They can Just get a copy. Yeah. yeah, well, we'll be at tables uh, throughout the area. Uh, I don't, and I'm thinking, I don't know specifically where we'll be at this time, but it's always posted on our social media pages through Twitter and Facebook. But if you're like at a national night out or something like that or some event like that. Yes, and, and you know, we're always at Tour Day Elizabeth. Tour Day Elizabeth. So you know, next May we'll be there, mm -hmm. and I think we're still uh, forming our schedules for so the So Susan, summer. last question. Uh, some of the ideas for any other new projects? 
Well, you know, we learned a lesson with this one that, you know, trust the ability of children. That if you give them a task, they're going to come through big time for you. So, I mean, the children tell a story in the words that they say, the words that they write, and the pictures that they draw. So we're looking into opportunities to kind of build on that and see what we can do in the future with that same concept. So, you know, stay tuned. There's well, I want to thank coming. the three of you for joining us on the show. Russell and Tina and Susan, it's been great. And uh, thank you. I look forward to this uh, project uh, continuing and maybe something new as well. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. For Mr. Russell Triolo, Mr. S Ms. Susan Buck, and Ms. Tina Early, I'm Chris Bolwage. We'll see you next week on another edition of Our City. Where will the next generation of scientists come from? Right here. Kane University.